thank you folks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. I know there's a lot of other things you could be doing tonight, but you decided to come here, so I do appreciate that. Uh, the group is Boston Making a Difference, is what we call it. And our real goal of the group is to help good causes. So, uh, but tonight we're uh, using video as a way of bringing some people out. I'm happy you are here, and I hope you get something good out of it. If you're doing your own videos, I applaud you for doing that because it's not easy. I was just talking to Susan and she mentioned that she is doing her own videos every day and you know some are good, some are bad, some you know, but she's getting better at doing it and continues to do it. What is it, a 66 day goal you said? A video every day for 66 days posted on social media. Excellent. To make it a habit that I stick with. Now if, if, if you are involved in social media, you know that video is is prominent right now. It probably will remain that way unless some other technology comes along that changes it, which, you know, of course it probably will at some point, but uh, people love to watch video. 85% of traffic right now online is driven by video. Uh, pictures are second. People like love to look at pictures, love to share pictures. So you, you, you've got to get visual in your uh, content, uh, be it pictures or video. Uh, your information is great, but uh, unless it's a short paragraph, most people aren't going to read too much of it. And even videos, they're not going to give you a lot of attention for a long time. Uh, they say the sweet spot is between 60 seconds and 3 minutes max. Uh, most people, uh, th their average viewing time on, on a video is like 11 seconds or something like that. They'll watch other videos longer if they like it, but uh, people's attention spans uh, aren't there. If, if they're not interested, they decide quickly and close your video and go to the next one. And they, you know, and it could be for entertainment, it could be for you know, uh, content consumption for business. There's many different reasons why people watch videos. Uh, I've been producing video now for about 40 years. I've been running my own company now for 32 years. My company name is KC Visuals Unlimited. I went to school for video. I, I even had a, a movie uh, camera when I was a kid and took all kinds of home movies and sports and things. I just love to take pictures and tell stories with pictures. I love blending music and video together to uh, capture emotion and excitement and all that kind of thing to get uh, people involved when they watch a video. You know you're successful when you make somebody cry with your video. You know, <laughs> you know you've done the job right. But there's a lot of different ways of telling stories with video. The most common right now for the average entrepreneur is to use their cell phone and to talk into their cell phone. Anyone here do that? Do you talk into your cell phone? I bet. No, no, no one does? Okay, that's fine. Uh, but that's the most common right now for the average entrepreneur is to make their own videos using their phone. If you have a camera or an iPad or a laptop that has a camera on it, you could also make videos from that. I, I do a lot of videos that I make from Zoom sessions if I'm you know, doing a, an online Zoom session. And, you know, your laptop has a camera and I'll, I'll use those for certain purposes. But uh, right now I'm shooting with two cameras here that are Canon what they call DSLRs, they're di digital signal lens reflex cameras. They take really nice pictures. Uh, one of the cameras is shooting 4K, the other is shooting HD. In the end, I'll make an HD video out of it. And uh, you know, for online purposes, that's that's pretty good. Are we on video right now? A video is being recorded right now. Yes, I'm recording this for my purposes to to have a record of of the event. Uh, we are going to shoot anyone that wants to get in front of the camera and do a 60 to 90 second pitch to the group like you were doing your elevator pitch. Uh, or you could just do an interview if you want. I can just ask you questions about you know what you're doing, what your business is, and, and you can use that. But uh, you don't have to. You certainly don't. <laughs> There's no requirement. It's something that you can do if you want to. Now, if you're doing your own videos, I'll, I'll give you, you know, some, some simple tips that can help improve the quality of what you're doing. One, if, if you're using your phone, we'll, we'll base it on using your phone, but it really applies to be a laptop or, a, or an iPad as well. Uh, 
similar quality you're going to get from those devices. But uh, if you're using your phone, most people shoot them in vertical now. That used to be a no-no. Uh, everything you know is in the horizontal sense when you're watching television and watching monitors. But they have started now to slowly move into the vertical age with the different technology with monitors that is out there for display. You can get vertical monitors. Uh, Facebook, if you go Facebook Live and LinkedIn Live, and now I think they automatically go into the vertical mode. Everything is in vertical now. So uh, the first thing I'll tell people, one, is if you're shooting a video and you're just using your camera, try to do it in a quiet place because the microphones on those cameras are, are pretty generic in nature and they're, they're omnidirectional and they'll pick up all the background noise around you and amplify it, especially during silent moments when you're not talking. It's looking for sound and it's gonna amplify it and, and make it noisier so it's harder to understand you when you're talking. So if you can, find a quiet spot to do your, your video. Better yet would be to get a microphone. There are lots of uh, uh, devices out there now for phones, microphones that'll plug right into your phone and you can clip it on your lapel or on your blouse and it will pick up, it's a directional mic, it'll just pick up your voice and the background noise will be dwarfed compared, compared to the, the, the phone itself. So uh, and you can pick them up at, at any of the uh, technology stores now from anywhere from 20 to $50 depending on you know the type of phone you have and so forth. But, uh, it, it's a good buy if you're doing a lot of videos. Now lighting is another important and often under considered situation. Lighting is vital in a dark space. If you're in a dark space and you're trying to take pictures without a light you're going to get what? A dark picture. Uh, some of the cameras will enhance uh, dark lighted situations but they increase the grain and the noise in the uh, picture to do that. So you're best to be in a, a well-lit room, well-lit space. Avoid bright backgrounds. Windows on a, on, a, on a bright day are not great behind you. The cameras, uh, most of them are automatic. They'll, they'll shut down and they'll silhouette you uh, because it's seeing too much light behind you. You want the light to be falling on you, not from behind you. You want the light to be falling on your, your face and the front of your body when you're talking to the camera. So keep that in mind. Avoid uh, bright backgrounds when you're, when you're shooting the videos. Framing is another very important aspect of making a good video. The, it's gotten a lot better over time, but it used to be I'd see the vertical pictures people did with their phone and their head would be in the base of the, the picture and then you'd have a, a mile of empty space above their head, you know, uh, because most people just think, you know, I'm just... I just want to see my face and I'm looking right here and you, you want to try to fill that frame. It's better if it get, you, there's just a minimal amount of space between you and the top of the, the, the camera and fill it with your body so they can see you. If you have an interesting background or like in your case you had the flip chart you were showing, you want to frame it so that you know it's just above your head but also have that flip chart in the picture if the information is important to you. And then, you know, you've got it here where you can talk about your flip chart and write on it and, and so forth. But if you're just talking, you know, fill the frame with you. If there's more than one person, fill it with, you know, the, the two of you, three of you, whatever it is, you know, fill, fill the frame. If, if you're going to talk about something business-wise, you want to have a plan before you just shoot your video. You don't want to just haphazardly start talking. Have a plan, do, do, do a little bit of an outline for yourself so that you know what you want to talk about. You know, give yourself some bullet points. You know, keep it short, succinct. Talk, if you, if, if you have the ability to, talk right into the camera so that you make an eye contact with your audience. If you're uncomfortable with that, there's other ways around that, but uh, you know, Call the audience to action in the end. You know, let them know what it is you want them to do. Is it, do you want them to call you? Well, say call me and here's my phone number. 
give them your website, give them your email address, whatever it may be, you know, let them know how they can get in touch with you or what the call to action is. If you want them to go to a website, you know, or a landing page, you know, give them that address. And this is all without using graphical reinforcement that you can get through editing. And this is just, you know, in talking with, you know, if you're just talking yourself on the phone. If you can add titles and things like that, you can do a lot of that just in, you know, graphic reinforcement, get people to see where your website and phone number and email addresses are and, 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 and give it to them that way for, for double the reinforcement. So uh, those are just some quick tips on making, you know, your, your own videos a little better. Uh, you know, there's certainly a lot of other things you can do to, to make good videos. Uh, learning to edit, uh, you know, there's a lot of inexpensive software out there that you can edit videos. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't take a lot to learn the basics of it. There's a lot of tutorials online. For any software you buy, there'll be a tutorial on YouTube that you can find that'll teach you how to use the, the software from a beginner's perspective so that you can start building pictures one after another with sound and music and all the things that make for a more professional video. But uh, again, if you're just doing it with your phone, uh, you know, there's still ways to improve, like I said, that you can make your videos better than what you're doing, just, you know, with some easy steps, uh, some inexpensive equipment, uh, and so forth. So, anyone have a question or a, a situation that, that I could maybe help with uh, that you're doing video. No, Calvin. So my video has been coming out great. <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing it. I know. All right. So 